Hi everyone, this is Mike with Deep Pro Systems. Thanks for watching. This video is going to cover the uh, recent test I did with the Hero 4 Black Edition in one of the Deep Pro uh, domed, water corrected uh, underwater housings. Uh, this was shot in uh, Muckleteal, Washington, USA in December of 2014. The visibility was not very good, maybe 10 or 15 feet at the max. Uh, maximum dive depth was around 65, 70 feet, and the water temp was 44 degrees. We ran the housing through its paces, um, uh, testing out the new uh, control that GoPro added for the setup button, and I'm pleased to report that it worked very well. We added a fourth control to our housing, which allows you to access the setup, setup button during the dive and change uh, all the parameters that you desire. Uh, the camera was set in 4K mode, uh, 30, uh, 30, 30p. Uh, spot meter was off. I was on average light metering. I had ProTune turned on. The first couple of scenes, we had the white balance set at 5,500 Kelvin, and then the rest after that were at the native ProTune setting. Uh, sharpness was medium, and GoPro color was on. Um, I also used a couple of big, big blue 2,500p uh, or 2,500 lumen lights. But I had some warming filters on them that warmed them up from, took the color temp from around 6,500 down to about 5,500. These first couple of shots here are at the 5,500 uh, Kelvin white balance setting and uh, almost no color grading applied to them, just a, just a little bit of contrast increase. Um, the thing to watch in this video is uh, the quality of the 4K video. Uh, it's pretty sharp, and uh, especially with our dome system. Um, and there's a few scenes here where I, I push in close and then I and I edit in tighter. Uh, so this shot here, you can see the color shift, and that's because now we're shooting in the in the uh, native Pro Tune mode, and my color grading is not the best, to be frank. Um, but uh, this statue. Uh, is at this dive site, and um, it's just a uh, less than a foot away from the from the dome and the camera. Uh, you'll see here in this shot as I push in the very next clip is where I edit in post the 4K right there, and um, I'm able to zoom in. That's the beauty of the 4K. Uh, you get a lot more resolution, but it allows you to uh, play some tricks in post production with some uh, different. Uh, zooming in or cuts. You'll see it briefly here. This video was all shot in the 4K setting and then in post-production uh, where you're watching it was uh, it was down converted to 1920 by 1080. This shot here is uh, basically putting the camera on the bottom and shooting straight up. At this dive site there's this uh, they call the geodome just a collection of pipes in a uh, basically a, a geodesic dome type configuration and we're shooting looking straight up that's how green the water is, is here locally you'll see the next clip I, uh, I uh, actually use it in post production I zoom in a little bit on that um, just to give you an idea uh, once again uh, what, what, what you can do with 4k uh, of course that's not the best subject uh, that dirty green water uh, this little crab is just a few inches away um, because the visibility was so poor I was using this this uh, wide setup of the GoPro to um, stay close to the subjects the last couple of shots show you the, the clarity of the, uh, the 4k video uh, which in this all these videos have been uh, uh, down converted from 4k to uh, 1920 by 1080 and we have one very last short clip here just a second where I take this particular shot and in post-production I zoom in closer right there but uh, it looks pretty good overall I have to say I'm quite pleased with the Hero 4 the 4k capability in our domed housing and the 4k allows you to do some um, creative uh, uh, zooming in or pan and scan in, in post-production so uh, can't wait to get this camera in some clear clean water someday soon 
Also, what's uh, very nice is our housing has the large oversized mechanical controls, which let you take control of your GoPro underwater during the dive. Uh, it works great. Um, I was able to start, stop the recording uh, on the fly. Doing so makes the battery last a lot longer and, of course, uh, saves memory space. Uh, I was able to get into the setup menu quite easily and uh, experiment with different settings, uh, different white balance settings, different uh, aspect ratios, uh, different resolutions, those sort of things. You can do that now with this housing. I also had our supplemental lithium ion accessory battery plugged into the camera. It's uh, tucked away inside the housing and uh, it added, it adds about uh, about 60, 66 percent or so uh, run time to the camera. Uh, it's not double, but it's uh, it's significant. And uh, this dive was uh, 59 minutes long. I had the camera powered on with the LCD touchback um, powered on for almost an hour. And when I was done, I had, I believe, one or two bars of power remaining. Um, um, so it, it gives you that extra edge. Um, maybe one real long dive or two short dives is, is what it does. If you have more questions, uh, email me. Uh, sales at deepprosystems.com. This is Mike. Thanks for watching.